Teresa Halbach's mother told jurors about the last time she saw her daughter alive. She is the third member of the Halbach family to testify against Stephen Avery. The man prosecutors say killed her and then burned her body. And Tevi Elliott joins us now with more on something we didn't see in our earlier newscast. And that is the last question that Karen Halbach was asked on the stand today. And also how the prosecution used this opportunity to say they are tired of harsh criticism about how they've treated the Halbach family. We did spend a lot of time together. Karen Halbach was composed as she recalled the good times and the last time she saw her daughter alive. This was my father's birthday on Halloween, but we got together that Sunday before and celebrated his birthday at his house. It was the state's final question that got the defense and the judge's attention. The physical evidence, no matter how disturbing it's been to you, have you been and your family been kept informed throughout this investigation uh, of all of the developments, do you feel? Yes, Rana, we have. This is needlessly difficult, and it's, the case is not about Mr. Kratz. The court agrees. After court, Prosecutor Ken Kratz explained his line of questioning. The jurors deserve to know that it's not for the first time that the family's hearing that. He also defended how he's treated the Halbach family. There's been a great deal of criticism. Criticism, Kratz says, since last year's explosive news conference carried on live TV. Unclothed, completely naked, and shackled to the bed. Last March, Kratz revealed gruesome details after Stephen Avery's nephew, Brendan Dassey, confessed to police. Watch as Stephen Avery take a butcher knife from the kitchen and stab Teresa Halbach in the stomach. Now, for the first time, Kratz says he's able to respond to criticism. Let's face it, this is a, a very um, difficult and, and very salacious, if I can use that term, a set of facts that needed to be disseminated in March. We've done absolutely everything we can to ensure that the Halbachs are treated with fairness and dignity and respect and how a family should be treated when they've gone through a tragedy like this. And Brendan Dassey later recanted his confession. He will not testify against his uncle. The 17-year-old goes on trial for Halbach's murder in April. And uh, Kratz also said today that he thinks he has about a week left of his witness testimony, perhaps less. It's faster than we thought. Mm, a little bit. We'll yeah. see. We'll see, though, how it turns out. Okay. Thanks, Tammy. Thanks, and for more